I just spoke to two uh, entrepreneurs that are really doing it right and you know, really encouraging as far as you know, my conversations with people. And they started a, um, a hemp-based you know, marijuana company, um, not CBD, but it's a, uh, it's a product they use along with uh, medical marijuana. And you know, they're doing amazing because they decided to m- more focus on the merchandising aspect of where it goes in the store than to play with any other varieties. So they did local distribution themselves. They went into the store, they established their initial um, you know, group of retailers, and then they listened and they adapted. And they did that for six months before they started bringing on smaller distributors around the country. And now they're in a couple uh, regional chains. Um, you know, we're, we're putting them in talks with a national chain right now. But you know, they're doing such a great job and they're still going into those stores, still servicing themselves. And they've been able to expand into different uh, areas because they keep their ear to the ground. They know what's selling, what's doing well, and where the opportunities are with those retailers. And you really don't know that until you make those relationships and you continue to service that over time to build those relationships with the smaller independent retailers because they're going to be the ones that will tell you what sucks, what doesn't suck, what works, and what's too expensive. So you know, having that on the ground presence, having that in-store um, knowledge is essential when building a business because you know everybody else is going to blow smoke you know they're going to tell you that your product's great your product's unique you know be crazy not to it's going to fly off the shelf but when it gets on the shelf and nobody's there to sell it and those people that have been telling you that um, aren't there to really bolster it then you know will it sell through Uh, you don't know until you do it yourself you know get those numbers by doing it in store, speak to the people who know, and those are only the cashier and the service people, uh, the management of the store. You know, those are the only people that really matter. You know, the customer uh, matters, but customers buy in mass. So the only person that really tracks customers in mass is going to be the store manager and the store owner because they talk to them throughout the day. You know, they they know what they're asking for, what they're looking for. And that's going to give you the information that you need to speak to your manufacturer, to go back to your um, workshop and to create what is going to work. You know, do that quick ideation, do a quick test and expand based on that sales result. That's the way to grow a business and that's the way to take that feedback and quickly adapt in this incredibly fast market where you know you can get a product shipped overnight from China. So you know, working that way has been really successful for these two entrepreneurs. You know, my hat's off to them. And if you want to hear more about these kind of calls, please subscribe uh, below um, and give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you.